Hello everyone, how are we doing? Today we are playing the Wapakata back nine. Uh, shot plus six on the first front nine, six over. Wasn't the best, um, but the back nine starting to play a little better. So I'll take you through the shots. First shot I uh, over sliced and second shot I kind of punched out a little too far. But check this out. See how over the top I was in my swing? I had to slice it up and around the top of that tree. That was probably the best shot of my round to get it to that spot. Unbelievable from me. That was awesome. I, I kind of practiced that type of shot around the house with foam golf balls. So it was pretty sweet to be able to do that on an actual course. Slice it up high and around a tree. A good par there, especially after that tough drive into the trees. Here, uh, hole 11 actually and it's uh, about 200 yards I went with six iron and I hit it pretty straight but the green is a little bit up to the left so that'll be in the rough over there and I have a chance to go up and down for a save yep so I'm playing with uh, Austin sir and Nick Bagenstoss today and so the both will be filming me Nick's camera work isn't quite where I wanted him to be I didn't really tell him exactly how to get the camera right, so that's on me. But this putt, I looked, I thought it looked good the whole way. You can see Austin just kind of overread it. That was so close, but we'll take yep. a bogey there. Up next is hole 12. I went with a four iron here. I usually hit driver, but it's obviously a terrible left and out of bounds right. I was, I hit three four irons on this round off the tee box, and I was two. It was one for three hitting the fairway, okay. and two of them were like that. Luckily, we found this ball. Nick had a pretty good eye on it. We watched it land kind of in that stuff, and we found it, and I hit an unbelievable shot to get to this point. 135 with a pitching wedge. I kind of half or three-quarters swung it and put it actually just a perfect distance. I'm starting to get to be money from this range with my quarter, three-quarters pitching wedge swing. Here's for an unbelievable par save. It would be... I was actually pissed. I cannot believe that putt didn't go in. That's a bogey, though. Oh, the title text to your thing? Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, stupid iMovie sometimes doesn't work. Anyway, here's the next hole. A short par four. I want to go driver because I'm trying to get some strokes back. And I didn't really hit a very good drive. But kind of the theme for today off the tee box was I was hitting everything off the heel of my club face, and it... That kind of hurt the uh, hurt the slice or helped the slice, if you will. But I've made a really nice running shot here that rolled all the way up. Uh, I'm really good and creative in the trees, so that's I think a big plus to my game. I'm, I'm confident hitting low shots, confident hitting cuts around and draws around trees. I put that one down the hill a little too far, so here's coming back to save par, and that's a good putt. So we are two over on our back nine so far. This is a uh, 528 yard uh, hole into the wind. So not reachable on two and I hit that one off the heel and it's sliced back in the middle of the fairway. But we'll take short and in the middle over long and in the rough or in the trees definitely every time. This is nice. You can see I almost uh, tear my ACL swinging through that one. Beautiful, beautiful shot though. Dead straight with the fairway wood. Leaves me just about uh, 60 or so out. And I hit just kind of a low little chip up. I don't try to get too high with this uh, 56 degree wedge. I try to keep it lower. It's more controlled. So this is for birdie. This is another good uh, 12, 15 footer for birdie. Maybe even less. If I can start getting those putts a little bit more consistent, a little closer, I'm going to start seeing my scores uh, go up. Maybe make one or two of those per round. And that's going to help me out with scores uh, drastically. This is a long, long par four. 455 yards, and I know I instantly hit this one either off the heel or just got out a little too steep on it, and I sliced it over from those trees. So like I was mentioning before, I, I think I have a good uh, taste of these shots, and I just, I hit a, how I wanted to, it just cut up a little bit and hit that branch that just barely hit sticking out. That was so unlucky for it to hit that one branch, and it should have just gotten through. And I was 190 out then, it kicked back with the seven iron I hit it beautifully and it just kind of got up on the front part of the green so you can see I'm happy about that shot so this could would be for a, a par a long uh, long par 
Oof, I mean, yeah, I was making sure I was going to uh, get putts there today. So that would be for Bogey coming up. Nick's filming a little bit too long. That's okay. We had a good round. And those guys played well, and I played better than I have been in uh, on camera so far. Here's hole uh, 16, 100 and uh, about 80 yards. I go with the 7. I don't know why. I decided to try and hit like kind of a knockdown 7 iron, and I just wasn't confident. Like why? I don't know why I didn't just hit a normal shot, but I tried to flight it low for some reason. I am not good enough to do that. So it ended up there, and I didn't make my best uh, effort chipping this one up. I tried to play a little flop over that bunker, and I kind of pulled it. And this putt I've had before in the past playing here at WAP, the home course, and I always miss this high, and I did again. It, from my angle, it looks like it should slope left, but I knew it wouldn't, uh, I mean, slope down to the right, and I knew it wouldn't do that on the putt, and I still, still tugged it left. Here's the best drive of my day. Absolutely mashed it. I decided not to choke up on my driver a little bit. I just went from the end of the club, and I just bombed this one up there, probably 300 yards. And I had another little knockdown. This one, the pin was way in the back of the green. This green is huge. It's probably 100 feet long even more than that so it was tough to actually get this back there with the uh, viewpoint of where I was at and that putt I run past again and so here's a nice downhiller scary downhiller to save par make a good putt yeah you see I'm happy all right and then brings us to hole 18 the par 5 533 yards I'm plus four so far <laughs> Get out on my toes there. I need to work on my balance off the tee box and on my other shots. Work on being balanced, but I healed that one, and so I didn't really get the distance I wanted, but it's right in the middle. And here's a good shot I, with my fairway wood. Uh, I have a tendency to hook it, and so I have to tell myself, change my swing a little bit if I want to hit it straight, but my natural swing is kind of a hook draw, so I did that and hit it perfectly up to about 40 away from the pin. Here and I make a beautiful chip. That's I was really good today with that club from that kind of distance. And here's for a birdie to get me to plus three. Mm -hmm. nope, H nah, H nah. I'm really upset about that, and I hope you guys are uh, are appreciate the fact that I am showing you that putt because I could redo that and. I guarantee I would make that putt 10 times out of 10. I really want to just redo it for the camera, but that's not what this vlog is all about. It's about real, authentic golf. And so we will keep it up, and hopefully we'll shoot low uh, upcoming sometime soon. All right, thanks, guys.